a cracking cup tie from start to finish, with Swansea City having been unceremoniously dumped out of the Welsh Cup by Merthyr, facing another GM Vauxhall Conference side, third place Kidderminster Harriers. The Swans made a dream start, winning a corner in the first minute. Andrew Legg, in for flu victim Tommy Hutchison, took it, and Andrew Melville's near post header put Swansea in front. But Kidderminster, looking for revenge for that 5 0 thrashing in last season's Welsh Cup final, struck back. Mark Harris having to head away this cross at the far post. Swansea had the bit between their teeth and were two up after 18 minutes. Another corner, this time on the left, wasn't cleared properly, and as the ball bobbled around in the area, Melville seized his chance to make it 2 0. Just before half-time, Kidderminster had a number of good chances. This header from Clive Foxall, one of their best. But Swansea were good value for their lead at half-time, with memories of that Merthyr game seemingly behind them. After the interval, Kidderminster began to creep back into the game. Paul Bancroft made a good run down the left. Chris Coleman's clearance landed nicely at Andy Blair's feet, and his shot wasn't far away. Swansea's goalkeeper Lee Bracey was at fault with Kidderminster's first goal after an hour's play. Richard Forsyth's shot went past the wall and through Bracey's hands. So 2-1 to Swansea. Urged on by their enthusiastic crowd, Kidderminster pressed forward and they had the Swansea defence in all sorts of trouble at times. Within two minutes of Forsyth's goal, they were level. The equaliser was a goal and a half. Again, the source was a corner, and when the ball was cleared to the edge of the area, Bancroft hit an absolute cracker. Two all, and Swansea with a real fight on their hands. Simon Davy appeared to have restored Swansea's lead after Alan Curtis set Paul Rayner free. Davy turning in his cross after it was deflected by keeper Paul Jones. But for some inexplicable reason, the goal was disallowed, much to Swansea's and Davy's dismay. At the other end, Paul Segru, the former Newport and Cardiff player, went on one of his lovely twisting runs before firing high and wide. And then Mark Whitehouse brought the save of the match from Lee Bracey. It stemmed from a free kick, and when the ball was lobbed forward, Whitehouse made beautiful contact, and Bracey a superb save. Swansea's third, 15 minutes from time, made up for Davies' earlier disappointment. He poked in Rayner's cross from about eight yards, and Swansea were ahead for the third time in the match. The big question now, though, was, would it be third time lucky? The home side refused to give up. They had a goal disallowed, this time definitely for offside. No argument at all about that particular decision, so Swansea stayed in front. They might have had a fourth before the end, Bracey's goal kick eventually reaching Rayner, and his lovely little chip shot from just inside the area being turned away for a corner by Jones. Still, Kidderminster kept coming forward, searching for the goal that would mean a replay at the Vetch field. And in doing so, they played some attractive football. But having got their noses in front, Swansea held firm, and they saw out the few remaining minutes with some typically uncomplicated defensive work. And it was Swansea's supporters who were urging the referee to blow his whistle to bring to an end a marvellous afternoon's entertainment. So Swansea go into tomorrow's draw, the final score, Kidderminster Harriers 2, Swansea City 3.